The overall goal of this video is to demonstrate how to set up and operate a benchtop particle image velocimetry experiment. First, estimate the recording parameters needed to resolve the velocities and gradients expected in the flow. The second step is to adjust the seeding density to achieve 8 to 10 particles per interrogation window. Next, adjust the camera frame rate and the time between laser pulses to achieve a particle shift between image pairs of less than one quarter of the interrogation window size. The final step is to record data and process the results with appropriate processing algorithms. Ultimately, particle image velocimetry may be used to study the structure and dynamics of any flow with sufficient optical access. The main advantages of this technique over existing methods of flow measurement like hot wire anemometry or pitot tubes are that it is non-intrusive and multidimensional. This method can help answer key questions about the velocity flow field in many applications, such as the structure and dynamics of transient boundary layer flow formed in an internal combustion engine. These experiments use lasers, so be sure to review laser safety and obtain the correct safety equipment before proceeding. Every experimenter should wear appropriate safety goggles. Hang laser safety drapes to isolate the laser experiment. Use a warning light to alert others when a laser is in operation. As a first step, determine an appropriate camera lens, a long-distance microscope lens for this setup. In addition, determine the camera frame rate and time delay based on practical guidelines for particle image velocimetry.